do subscribe to MJ Tube and hit on bell icon for latest videos. Hey guys, welcome back again. I'm MJ. In this video, we will learn how to properly set up iFalcon Android Smart TV. This TV has little a uh, different setup compared to other Android TV. So let's see how to do this. I will try to make it simple. So first, turn on your TV. Okay, so turn on your TV, and the first screen you will get language. So select your language here and set up to your TV Android phone. We will do it later. So skip now this one. Select this skip and OK. And Wi-Fi. It will auto get your Wi-Fi. So select your Wi-Fi. Uh, if you're using your phone hotspot, then go to phone hotspot and enter the password. So select and enter your password and connect your TV to internet. That's it. Now select the accept and your internet is connected to your TV. Good. So here is our sign in. Uh, don't sign in from here. It will take the difficult task to sign in. So just skip now here. We will sign in later. Okay. So skip it. We will sign later. And now term of service accept. Okay. Location. I don't want to show the location. So no. Select no. Help info Android. I don't want right now. So no. And yeah, TV name. So you can choose the default TV name like Android, living room, family room, or if you want to, you can use the custom name of your TV. So just select the enter custom name and give any name to your TV like this. Okay. And after this, uh, in the environment section, you can select the home or shop, select home and click next. Okay, select your country and next. And terms and condition, I agree. Privacy notice, I agree. Privacy notice, next. Yeah, so this TV has little difference uh, setup compared to other TVs. Okay, no problem. Just uh, select the next. Okay. Cookies notice, I agree. And antenna. So, tuner mode, you can select the cable or antenna. Uh, in the type you can select the all or digital so right now i don't have uh, any cable so after you select it you can scan your channel so right now i don't have anyone so I, i'm going to skip it okay yeah i think finally done now select the start now okay so now click next and next yeah so use the forward button of your TV and finally I think it's done okay adding the finishing touch okay so after this the first thing you have to do is uh, set the right time and date set the right time and date because some app will not work properly if your uh, TV time and date is not correct so on the home screen uh, you will get option like notification input method here I'll show you okay these are notification section okay so you need to sign in uh, inputs you can choose hdmi tv or av and the setting so on the setting you have to select the correct date and time these are must and should so go to date and time and if the date and date and time correct then leave it if not correct then turn off the automatic date and time okay turn off the automatic date and time like this and now select the correct date and time as per your region okay okay good so after this uh, you can sign in now so sign in now after uh, you complete the setup go to play store and in the play store sign in okay it's a good thing and easy thing to sign in from play store and after signing you will get a lot of options or apps and you can also customize your channel which uh, channel you want to show on home screen or which channel you want to hide you can click on the customize channel so as i said uh, you can sign in with your gmail id and password in your google play store so that is the setup of ifalcon tv in my future video i will show you some video and audio quality of this tv and other feature so thanks for watching. Catch you next video. Please like, share and subscribe.